Hello and welcome back to another video in the scene editor for Mount and Blade Bannerlord. Today I'm going to show you how you create seasons for your map. And if you don't know, the default uh, season is summer. So when you create a map, you should always try to figure out how your map should look uh, in summertime. So this is the map we have worked on, uh, the Eldera map, I think we called it. So what we're going to do is to change the season and uh, the way you do it, you go up here to atmosphere and you find the weather tab, open it and you can see the season here. So right now it's summer and we have to create the different ones. So I think we should start with spring because it's the easiest one to make. So right now you can see that all the flora is gone. So now we're gonna add it right back. And if you can remember which layers uh, actually have a flora on it, it's uh, usually mentioned in here. So we will just start with the bottom one. You double click it and you can actually see that we are at spring right now. Now there's a, a tab here. Copy floras from summer. We do that. And boom. Now we have all the grass from before and we move up to the trees we got and do the same thing just like that and uh, there's something here all right okay there seems to be some sort of uh, bug with uh, the scene editor at the moment and I have no clue why that is so uh, I will show you how you can handle the issue uh, since the normal way doesn't seem to work but what I did before is the, the normal way you would do it and uh, now the trees and bushes and so forth uh, seems to have been positioned uh, the right way as uh, they were meant to. Let's try and see the difference between spring and summer right now. Alright, so there's no real difference all right good now what we want to do is we want to make the spring slightly different but not too different perhaps so i think this is the grass layer you go down to your flora you find your grass whatever you have used and you just make it uh, you know slightly more green something like this I think that's fine yeah slightly more green at least uh, you can do the same for some of the textures if you want uh, usually I just apply it to uh, grass and so forth you can see that the bushes have uh, flowers on them and I think we should add some flowers as well. So just to um, one of the layers, go to spring and you just scroll down and add whatever you want. Uh, I usually use the valley flowers. Let's try and find them. Valley flower mix. I think that's fine. And we just increase it a bit. Let's see, 15 something like that. You can see there's a few flowers here and there. Um, surely you can add more if that is what you want. I think this will be fine for our little uh, tutorial. All right, so now we have done that. And just go ahead to the next one and we take four. And you can see it's a blank like uh, just like before, just uh, do the same thing, 
copy Flores from somewhere. Make sure you are at the right one. It seems to be a little tricky at times. Very important that you actually use the right one. All right, let's do this one. Copy from somewhere. Yes, please. I think that's fine. We go to this one and let's try and see if it works this time. It uh, seems to have some sort of bug where it. Uh, I'm not sure if this is only for my map or a general problem. I haven't uh, seen it before. All right, so there seems to be some sort of bug at least. Perhaps it's not. Uh, showing or rendering uh, the floors uh, as it should and I don't know why uh, that seems to be the case if you have the same sort of trees like we have here there are a few uh, of them that are different perhaps you want to have a more red colors so what you do is you just find the tree I would recommend that you have uh, several trees so you can have uh, different colors and not just all brown reddish and yellow but also some darker uh, versions doesn't seem like we have that but let's try and uh, make it a little darker you can see it gets darker down there perhaps you want it to be more red like that I think that looks interesting to some extent at least let's try and go up to the other type this one and it should be more yellow perhaps perhaps we want it to be more brown orange ish something like that perhaps i think that looks pretty good actually i think that's fine now we have spring and we have fall and uh, summer is uh, default as I have said so now we just uh, need to go ahead with winter and winter is actually the most difficult one I would say it takes a, a little more work at least all right so like before we just uh, we are at winter that's good go ahead and um, Copy flora from summer. I think that's fine. And um, just like that. And we just make sure to change, change back. All right. So right now we are back. Uh, doesn't seem to have copied the. Alright, so right now you can see there's a lot of uh, dry grass and so forth. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that. So let's try and decrease the density to what should we say? 25? Let's try that. Mm, that's still a little too much. Something like that. I think that's fine. Alright. Now what we want to do in winter time, uh, depending on the map you're making, you probably want to add some snow and there are uh, different ways you can do that. And uh, the first one we will do is uh, rather simple. Just go to your texture. I like to have them all open. You just go to this one. And you, uh, re remember that it's very important that you are at winter. Go like this and uh, just scroll down and look for snow. I think there are several um, textures you can choose from. Uh, I personally prefer this one, but you can have the other ones as well. So something like that. And now we have uh, snow pretty much uh, everywhere. Okay, let's try and hmm. I think there are a little too many rocks. 
so we can see there are other textures uh, still around and uh, you could go ahead and just uh, change the texture but I, I will show you something different because I well you can do that but I don't really prefer it to be honest so we find the texture layer we've used here and just like before make sure it's winter and uh, all this can just uh, be the same what we're going to do is we go to area map and find it something like this yes blend mode uh, I think it's additive actually and you just increase it a bit and uh, I know I think it makes pretty well perhaps it should just one more something like that all right so beneath this you can still see that it is uh, the same kind of, uh, kind of um, texture but now there's just uh, snow on top um, that's just a, a personal preference I'm sure there are people out there that would just change it uh, to this one it doesn't really matter um, at least for this sort of texture it's uh, not super important but for something like uh, this I think it's uh, rather uh, important Let's try and uh, add a little snow to this. So we have the riverbed, and uh, I think we should try and do the same. Well, that's uh, fixing the issue. All right. Um, I'm not super happy with this, looks a bit weird, um, doesn't seem to be an issue below water, but I'm um, not a huge fan of this. Let's try and, uh, oh, it is for winter, that's good. Alright, let's try and um, figure out what's the right. Version. I don't know, it just doesn't seem to blend very well. Perhaps it's just me. I don't know. I guess it's fine. I haven't looked much at the uh, Battle Lord maps, uh, how they would handle this. So, the issue with having um, edited your textures can become uh, a problem when you have to do the winter because you would have to do the trick from before um, don't think it's a huge issue but um, you know some people would find it uh, very annoying alright so this texture doesn't seem to do very well perhaps we should uh, I would say that in this case we would probably have to change it. Okay, I figured out what the issue was. So apparently we have some sort of uh, black terrain here. Let's try and increase that to something like this. Yeah, doesn't seem to be much of an issue anymore. Now we just have to edit this once more. Yeah, I guess something like that, that's fine. Um, not a huge fan of this, but um, you know, not all maps can be equally perfect. Winter down again find the snow and we apply it additive something like that I guess yeah all right as you can see the outer mesh needs to be changed as well I think I have a video about that but I will also make uh, another one um, 
at a later point at least because uh, I think that there's uh, a lot of things you can still do with the outer mesh that you should uh, consider uh, but I think this is fine for um, for the tutorial it's uh, a different thing to focus on let's just go ahead and save if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below um, I'm sorry I haven't made uh, any videos lately I've been a, a bit busy with uh, a lot of other things and uh, and I haven't really been motivated to make another tutorial video um, but I will make some other kind of videos soon and talk uh, a little about uh, Kingdoms of Arda as uh, many of you want to know more about it um, and also uh, about some other mods I work on and uh, I don't know at some point I think I want to make the channel a, a bit more personal and talk about uh, different things I work on uh, except for mods um, I'm working on a book series so uh, Feel free to leave some comments about that in the comment section. Remember to like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.